Happy Easter, everyone. Welcome to Joy Junctique. I'm Rhonda, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, I just wanted to show you a little bit of a quick craft project that you can do for Easter, um, but you can do it any time of the year. These are just some cute little quick and easy little tags that just turn out so precious. So I'm just going to show you a little bit about how I went about that. Here's some examples that I'm showing you. And um, I just hope that you enjoy this and I hope it is just a nice relaxing project for you. I have used Sam Pool Designs, her little bunny tags that she has, and they turned out so cute. So um, I just did really enjoy creating these and it was so simple to do. There I'm just showing you what I added to each tag and how cute they turned out. So it just gives them a little dimension and just makes them really nice. So you can use any kind of digitals that you want. But these are the tags that are by Sam Pool. And there are so many designs that she has. So many cute ones. So I just um, picked out my favorites for these few. And um, I die cut the bottom of them with one of my pretty little die cuts just to give them that shape at the bottom. And um, I thought they turned out nice like that. And these turned out a little brighter. Um, and I'll show you what I did. Some of them I cut out and then I turned around and uh, reprinted on vellum and just layered the vellum on top to give them a little bit brighter of a look. So here I'll just show you the difference and the effect that you get when you put the vellum on top. So that's just another fun little option if you want to get a little bit of a brighter look. And these I just shrunk down a little bit and made some little mini tags and they turned out really cute. So lots you can do with these and lots you can do with any of the graphics that you want to use. Alright, so now I've got everything laid out and I'm just going to walk through and show you the different things that you need. I got some corrugated cardboard as my base and then I cut out my little tags um, and I cut the cardboard a little shorter because I wanted the little um, point of the tag that I'd cut with a die cut, I wanted that to hang over. So here's just a piece of cardboard and you just pull that top layer off of there to get that corrugated look. And then I just took and dry brushed it with some gesso or you can use any of your acrylic paints or chalk paints and get that effect that I got right there. I also did the back just because I wanted a finished look on there too. So I used a roll of lace um, and just cut strips that were the same width as my cardboard. But you can use any lace that you have, any kind of fabric that you want. You could even use um, a digital uh, background page uh, and you don't even have to put anything on the back. I just wanted that finished look. And I cut my lace a little longer so that it would hang over at the bottom. And that way, um, it just kind of added another little dimension to it. So I trimmed the top off just to give a finished look up the top and also so that you have room for the, the little clip to clip on with the seam bound and ribbon. So I'm just trimming that down and getting it ready to glue together. So you'll also need the little bulldog clips and whatever kind of ribbon or seam binding or starry silk twine, whatever you choose to use. And you don't even have to have anything clipped onto the top, but it just makes it easier um, to have other options if you want to clip it onto something. So I'm just twisting the ribbon that I want to use and putting it through one of the little holes on the bulldog clip. And then I'm just going to tie that on there and make a cute little bow. And the seam binding that's already crinkled just gives you a lot of added texture and dimension to your tag. And you can choose whatever colors you want. I just kind of coordinated my colors to uh, each tag that I was going to do. And I like using more than one strip just because it gives you a fuller, fuller bow. 
and that just looks really cute to add to one of your tags. So this matches a couple of my tags that I'm going to use. So I'm just trying to show you the different effects you can get with it. I also had some already made up with different colors. And you can see how cute those are too. I love the dimension they add to each tag. So now this is just one of the other little tags I had already started and I had a little doily that is a greenish blue color. So I just took little pieces of it, I made a die cut out of one piece and just added some of that to it. And here I'm just showing you all the different little things that I've collected to use on those tags. So you can use anything from die cuts to paper flowers to ribbon flowers. Um, just anything that you find in your stash that you want to use. So there's all kinds of options. So now that I've gotten all that together, I um, am going to go ahead and start gluing things down. So I'm using Fabri-Tac. So this little tag I'll start with, and I've got my lace ready. I'm just, if you know me, I don't like things perfect, so I'm just kind of pulling and tugging on it um, just to give it a little rougher edge. And then I'm going to cut a little bit of slits at the bottom just to make it easier to kind of rip that bottom edge and make it not quite so perfect. It's a good way to take out your stress. Okay, so now I'm just going to glue that to the back of that cardboard. And I'm going to put it to where it hangs over the bottom just a little bit, just enough to see it. And then I'll trim off that top edge. Now I'm ready to glue my tag. And you want to make sure and not glue all the way to the point. Just glue straight across the bottom and leave that little point without any glue if you choose to, to do anything there with a the die cut. It would be cute to even hang a little dangle from that point. So now that we've gotten that done, we'll start gathering up our little embellishments. So that's going to go on the top. And I have this little tiny bow. Um, that came off of a little uh, like a baby barrette and so I just broke the, the barrette off of there and I'm adding that to the collar because it looks like it belongs on this collar so I'm just kind of fluffing it out shaping it to where it'll stay glued down and it adds a nice little um, ruffly collar to that bunny so cute And here I just have one of the paper flowers that was already pre-made and I'm going to add that to the corner. And I'm just going to slit the bottom a little more. I wasn't quite happy with how perfect it still was. So I'm just kind of roughing that up a little more. So here all you got to do is add that little bow. And it just turns out to be such a cute little tag. And that's it. Isn't that precious? Here I'm showing you all the dimension and the layers that you get. So it just makes it a little bit more fun of a tag. Okay, so let's work on this one now. There's that little dually piece that I just um, added there and then cut that little dragonfly out of the dually. It's a little bit fragile. Um, I don't show in the video, but I eventually end up changing that to a little ribbon flower because the, the dragonfly didn't hold up that well. But it does look cute and added that little pearl center to it. Here I have a little handmade flower um, and I'll put it here for now but you'll see in a minute I end up changing that too 
roughing up that little lace and to go under that flower I just wanted a little bit of dimension underneath there so I'm just twisting that little ribbon to kind of appear as like little lace leaves and I'm just going to glue that down under it but like I said it doesn't stay there long but that's just another way to kind of add a little bit more if you have little flowers that don't have leaves then you can just twist some little lace ribbon and it kind of gives the effect and that's cute so I'll add that little bow and those bulldog clips are just really handy so so it worked really well so as I look at it I just don't like the color of that flower with this tag it turned out a little bit more purpley so I just pulled that off and I had another little pearl piece that I put in its place and I really liked that so much better. So now I'm getting another one ready, ruffling up that lace. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. These go pretty quick. So if you kind of have your stuff gathered up together, it, it can go super quick to get these tags done. And you can sit and do all of your little um, ribbons on the clips at one time and um, you know so that if you're in a hurry later to make some you already have that ready so that kind of helps to make it go a little faster and I also did all of my cardboard at one time and then I cut all of my lace at one time so you can kind of prepare in advance so that when you're ready to put them together they go quick So there's the tag added and I'm going to add a little piece of a, like a green butterfly ribbon. It's really cute. I like how that looks. And then here's a pretty little flower. It has a pearl in the center. So I'm going to add that to the corner. And there's that pretty ribbon and it just looks perfect how cute is that I love it something else I haven't mentioned is just how much the cardboard adds to stuff when you layer it it just it really builds it up and adds so much more of a textured look so here I'm just gonna show you different ways that you can use these since they do have that clip on there it makes it super simple so say you have a little uh, junk journal, you can just clip it to the front of that and an instant topper on the front. You can also use them on your books just to add a, a pretty little something to the top of it or give as a gift like that. Here I have a little can, just a, a tomato can or something that I chalk painted white and added some of the sealant tile that you can get at the Dollar Tree, the little sticky ones. And I just put all the tags in there and you can even take and clip one to the front of the can. So you could use them as little gift buckets and just add a pretty little tag to the front. And if you wanted, just add these tags to a rope or twine and you'd have a precious little bunting. So since it's Easter, I decided to use this little chocolate egg and I have some coffee dyed um, shredded paper and I'm just going to add those tags in there. You can just put one and add candy or goodies in there or you could fill it full of all of the tags to give as a gift too. There are all kinds of options and you can add a little blank tag to the back clip it under that clip and you would have a way to sign a little note and that would be cute too. So there's all the tags. I hope you like this and I hope you have lots of fun making these. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. God bless.